Hello everyone and welcome back to TerraTech where we're working on, I guess, exploration and shooting people with our rovers. It's so far been pretty good, um, except for the fact that I accidentally lost my previous save, but I went ahead and basically caught up to where we were last time. I managed to actually make this setup for our rover. There's a couple pieces missing because I've been fighting a little bit. But we have a whole bunch of forward, forward firing power on this one. I even managed to get some mortars installed, which are going to work great, hopefully. In fact, I'm gonna put this one up top. Because the nice thing about the mortars is the fact that you can put them in front of each other. So that's something really nice that we can do now. The next objective, uh, I guess in this save, compared to last save, is we have to go back and pretty much relearn how to harvest so we can start working on our base, get a refinery and things made. All right, our forward firepower is doing us well. And we just leveled up to rank two. Little explosions everywhere. What's this? This is, I don't know what that is. That is what? shield bubble that's good what's this you are a another shield bubble of some kind all right so I'm gonna go ahead and increase the front end of this by one more and just keep attaching guns just more guns on top of guns with just a little bit more guns and hopefully give us a bit of an advantage. Again, I'm going kind of a forward firing build at the moment. Can't wait till we get some better kind of oh wheels for this thing, but there we go. We'll just shoot you, blow you up, there. This setup is very, very heavy on the firepower and it's going to work out great for us, I think. So here we are. We are at a GSO st tracking st trading station and we have to purchase a tractor pad. So let's go ahead and do that. And we can plop that down on the back end. And I also need to purchase a delivery cannon. And these things can be used to sell items without being at the outpost. So go ahead and put that on there as well so we can go ahead and take that all the way back to our solar generator and our base get some repairs going on and we'll slowly start getting our refinery operations going so we can purchase blocks fairly easily defend our base as it expands outwards I don't know what that marker is out on the left all right, so let's go ahead and attach our delivery cannon and attach it to the side there. I'm gonna go ahead and attach a defensive bubble around these items. What's this? This is a receiver. So the receiver basically takes items and holds it. And I believe there's a conveyor belt system Kind of built into the game as well so if i were to let's let's go over here and pick up these gems for one thing so let's see there we go so we have these and the receiver takes them off automatically and as you can see it's loading into the cannon and instantly being sold for about 60 bb i don't know what b the b stands for but um i like it so we pick up two more, drop those off. Let's go ahead and go back to the trading post. And looks like we need to buy a refinery. So I guess this will enable us to refine the products down before selling it and will give us a higher payout, which would be great. More money. I like me some money. Is there any other forward facing guns here? Nope. All right, so let's go ahead and buy a block find a refinery yes there we 
go. As you can see, there's a lot of locked blocks that we don't have access to because we haven't salvaged it ourselves just yet. So we'll just stick that on there for now while we head on back over to our base. Now, the day-night cycle, uh, this is kind of stuff that I figured on my own a little bit, is, you know, it's great that there's a day-night cycle, but nighttime, I don't think our solar power is going to work. So I'm going to assume we're going to need some sort of mechanism to assist with that. So let's go ahead and get this there and here. So I believe things go into the little slot out, the larger slot, and then sits on the white area. All right. And if that's the case, hopefully, I'm, I hope the white area can get pulled instantly onto our cannon for, for instant sellage. So let's go ahead and just blow up this tree pick up some of these pieces of wood, bring it over to the base, drop those off and watch as it works down the line. As you can see, it's being refined now. Then it pops out, becomes this little teardrop thing and then moves over to the cannon just as planned. So now we have a good source of income. Obviously, we need more storage and more refineries uh, to process a whole lot more quicker, but let's go ahead and get some of these green gems. Because unrefined, they were selling for a lot. I think they were selling for 60. I'm curious to how, see how much they sell for when they are refined. And I can't wait till we have new wheels because I want more. More maneuverability. We're under attack. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Oh, that thing's pretty big. I want to see how much this green thing's worth, though, refined. It is worth a total of... Come on. 160. So that's a 100 credit bonus just for refining it. Alright, alright, alright. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, I think we won. If, as long as we're able to get our front end pointing at them, we were really well off with facing enemies. Okay. I don't think I want any more mortars, but I will take some more forward facing lasers for just the initial punch power. Let's go ahead and see if there's any armor blocks nearby, just so we can put more hard points on here. Uh, another cannon laser cannon uh, whatever this is some type of turreted weapon yeah that's doing real well it's doing real real well any new parts that we need there's another forward facing one but I don't think we have a well I do have a spot for it right there we'll do yep that clears the wheel Go ahead and move this inwards because maybe we can put another one there if we find any. What's this? This is a turreted weapon or, oh, that's just a big light. No, it's not. It's just turning nighttime and the lights that I have on our sides are starting to turn on. Great. No, we're out of power. Uh. Okay, so until then, I guess what I'll do, since it's night time, I'm gonna preemptively kind of gather a whole bunch of stuff, and then bring it back to base, so we can just kind of stockpile some stuff, and just wait for daytime. I'm glad we installed some lights though, because that'll definitely help. I, I guess everything works except for the repair bubble at night. So I'm okay with that. That's a good thing to know. Come on, up the hill. There we go. Spin around. Get the refinery pointing in the right direction. There's that. 
Back down the heel, hill. Uh, uh, uh. This thing's really unstable. <laughs> Turn that around. Drop that off. And back and forth, back and forth. Just during the night. I might come back in the daytime thinking about it. I don't know how well you guys can see anything right now. Come on. Come on. These little wheels are just not cutting it anymore. I might have to make this thing wider so we get a bit better traction or something. Uh, it's just a little shaky. So let's go ahead and go over to the shop. See what all we can buy over here. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I wanted. So we're being invaded by some type of robot right now. So that'll happen here soon. How's HP on everything? That front wheel's a little weak. I'm gonna move that to the middle preemptively just so it doesn't fall off in the middle of combat. And he's in by Eagle. All right, Mr. Eagle, pew pew. I think I can hit him from all the way back here because we're on relatively flat ground. No, not quite. How's that looking? That looks better. Just fire all the lasers. a little bit more intense than I thought. Now these blocks, these like red ones, the, mm, I believe they have less armor, but yeah, they just have less armor. What are these? What are you? A booster jet? Oh my. Can I just... Ooh, I can put boosters on this. Oh, no, I didn't want that there. Well, that's cool. How often can this be used? I don't know. I don't know. So, temporarily use this. That's just armor. See if they have any good guns that we can use. There's another front end piece. I was hoping he had some wheels that we could use as well. What are these? Are these wings? Oh my goodness, they are. Uh, I believe there's a way to rotate blocks. Let me just look that up. Uh, rotate, rotate. Orientations G, G and F, so G. Okay, that's handy to know. So we're putting some wings on <laughs> this thing, I guess. Come on, take off your jet. No, it, it pretty much went nowhere. I wonder if I can sell them. I haven't tested if I can sell parts. So that'd be an okay source of money. Can I sell you? No? Doesn't look like it. All right, so what I need, I need that for one thing. And let's see. I think I need some more solar generations. I need a battery for nighttime. And let's see. Any wheels? Any wheels? It's a conveyor. So yeah, we're, we're gonna be hauling some stuff back to base so we can expand our territory. 
rather well. I think I want a repair bubble. I need to set up a bigger field of repair bubbles. So let's let's replace this weak thing with just another normal block. Put our cannon back on top. Let's see, we'll be hauling this stuff back to base. Sir, we look a little awkward, but that's okay. Base building is key. Ooh, what's that question mark for? Find a harvest boss. Oh, that thing looks pretty big out there. Hmm. All right, well, you know where to go once we're repaired. I really like the terrain kind of graphics. It's really clean. Um, the art style in general is really clean for the game, so I'm liking it. All right, so let's go ahead and plop down our new solar generator. I think over here is fine. And the repair module will get the battery. And now we can fit in between here and repair pretty much the whole thing at once. Good, good, good. Uh, can I just sell this cannon thing? I have no idea. Can it be refined back down? No, it cannot. Come on, I want to see if I can shoot this in the cannon. Oh. Can I sell parts back? Come on. Go Ooh, yes I can. That's a good source of money right there. Alright, so let's go ahead and kill this harvest boss with all of our lasers. See if we can't get anything good from him. New wheels would be nice, as stated before. I'm gonna put this harvest gatherer thing in the middle. Actually, I'll put it in the lower end. I'm trying to get behind it. Oh, can I turn faster? I can. Come on. I don't know what this thing is, but I do not like it. It needs to die. It's in my way. And actually kind of hurting me. There we go. Uh, that guy is pretty much disabled, which is good. Ooh, solar array. Cool, I can take another one of those. Let's go ahead and drop some fire on this thing. See if it blows up which he might be about to. Yes, we're level three now. Great, and we get some new hall pieces. I'm gonna swap this out. Oh God, things are going flying now. Rotate that around. Let's go ahead and put this back on here for later. Uh, same wheels as always. It's not really an improvement. Get these side lasers though. Actually, no, that one's shooting sideways with theirs. Let's put this one at the front. And is there a mortar around? Yep. Good. Let's see, let's see. Any other good piece in here? Not really, but there's a fabricator. I don't know what this is but I'll take it. Oh God, don't throw. Oh. The world just throws blocks at you. Fabricator to craft new blocks. Okay, that's cool. Ref okay, let's just take this back to base and figure out what it does. I have no idea and I'm dragging something along. Oh no, 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 no. Back up, pick back up quickly. I don't want to be attacked right now. I am weighed down a whole lot. Go forth and explore, add resource chunk to both sides and see what it makes for you. So I guess 
it outputs even more stuff combining things something so I'll put that I, ha I have no idea how I want to do this can I just set this on the ground I don't know I can't okay so it probably combines here so we need a spot there and a spot here and that'll be refined down right am I doing this right I don't know if I'm doing this right Let's see, let's see. I have all this stuff. Not really important. Let's go ahead and test this out. Just real quick. And then we'll call this an episode as we pretty much keep going forward and expanding our base. I'm stuck. Here, give me, give me these yellow things. All right, cool. Back it up. <laughs> this thing's just getting unruly. Alright, so let's just plop these down. See what it does. Okay. It's doing something to both. It made a light. Okay, so those yellow crystals are good for lights, I guess. Yeah, that's totally just a factory. Like, to actually make parts. And that's something I'm quite interested in yet. Kind of more interested in just making money. So I can buy parts, but it's good to know. But we can keep that out there for now. I need to plop down a shield for it at some point. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm glad I can show you a little bit more of the base. Uh, how things can start fitting together, the conveyor system, everything like that. If you guys are enjoying this series, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like, leave a dislike. Uh, check out my other videos if you want to see more creative stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.